Hi, today we're going to see how to stack shape layers on top of each other. We are, we are going to create a null object with a slider control uh, so that we can uh, use the slider to control the size of the circle. Uh, and we are going to do the same for all the circles that we are going to create. So every time you create a circle, just create another slider and attach the size property to the slider control. The circle is growing from its own center and we want to, to be growing from the bottom. Well, in here, in the ellipse path, we need to put an expression on the position and put var x equal value 0. and var y equal uh, value 1 minus the y value divided by 2 and then x, y now you can see it's growing from its own bottom so let's see how this code works so we have uh, var x equal the value zero will take any value that we uh, that we put inside. And as for the y variable, so equals value one. So value one is the same as value zero. We just put one because in the array of position, zero is the first value and one is the second value. So zero is for x and one is for y. Uh, so subtract to the uh, y-axis size of the circle. Don't forget that in After Effects, let me put an example. In After Effects, when we uh, go up, we actually going into the negative values of the y. So let's just see here. As you can see, as I move up, my y value is going into the negative values, and as I move uh, into the bottom it will eventually go into the positive value and have like a uh, kind of huge y value in here that's why um, we subtracted the value once to this uh, y size uh, property and we divided by two why because the anchor point is in the middle so it's in halfway to the bottom and halfway to the top we want to create a baseline where we put all the, um, uh, the circle, the shape layers on top. I just created a shape layer, a rectangle shape layer, and put the y at 0, uh, 1500. That would be below the circle and below the circle layer. So what you can do first is to um, put the anchor points to the bottom so that the, even the uh, baseline will move from the bottom. So the x equal value 0, the y equal value 1 minus the y divided by 2 and then x, y so now it's moving from the bottom so that's great and also in here for the circle so we uh, separated the dimension so that it's easier for us to work otherwise we would have um, we need to put an array and you know if you can separate the dimension just do it it's easier so in here what I like is uh, to create variables to um, to have the code uh, that, that is more um, readable for us. So just bear with me. So the target layer is this baseline layer. The, we are going to take uh, the position 
uh, the Y position of the baseline. So, uh, so base pose equal position is here. This position and take the target layer, pe copy and paste in here. The base size equal this size one, the Y, and replace it a target layer. Then we are going to subtract the position Y and the size Y. So base post minus base size. So now we can see the circle is uh, attached to the baseline and when we change the Y size of the baseline we can see it's still attached. So now we can create other circles following the same principle that we learned. So uh, create another circle and modify the anchor point so that the circle grows from the bottom and attach this uh, its size to the slider uh, inside the null object. So in here, we just need to duplicate this slider control. Let's rename circle size one. Let's copy size two. Here attach to here, let's just, you know, put that in here. Uh, so for the position as well, same thing, we want uh, the anchor points to be at the bottom. So where x equal value zero, where y equal value one, ah, hold on minus the y divided by 2 then x y go okay and then same thing for the circle uh, for uh, with the baseline we want the circle number two to be attached to the circle number one so that they will be on top of each other. So circle number two in here, circle number one in here. Uh, so separate the dimension of the uh, position. Same thing about targets layer equal the circle number one. Um, the post that will be the Y in here and the size circle one equal. Um, so that will be the size. Yeah, so let me just target layer. There we go. There we go. Uh, so post on the size. So one. There we go. So now, whenever, uh, so now whenever the circle one grows, let's see, there will be an update, as you can see here. But before finish up, we have one problem left: is that uh, the strokes are overlapping with each other and we want the stroke to be straight on top of each other 
So what we're going to do is um, create another slider inside the null object, call it stroke width, and attach all the strokes inside our composition to the new slider stroke width. So let's do it. Inside the controller, have another slider controller called uh, stroke width. And what I'm going to do is stroke width and link the stroke width to the slider. Let me just find out for and copy the same. So what we have here is the slider control all the strokes inside our composition so that's great and what you can do is for the circle one inside the position the y position we are going to create a new variable called stroke width that will be attached to the slider the new slider that we just created so stroke width this and we are going to subtract the operation the whole operation by the stroke width because um, we want the circle to be uh, to move up so that's why we are subtracting by the stroke width So now, as you can see, the circle one is just right on top of the baseline. So all we can do is copy this code and do the same in here and just paste it. Uh, let me just delete this. Oh, I got an error, let me... Um, oh, I get it. <laughs> because it's not the same variable. Uh, so. Size circle one. There we go. Then it's just a matter of keyframing. So what I did is just keyframe here. I can put another keyframe for the Y size, as you can see. It's all updating. There we go. Up, 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 up. up. We just put a really easy thing. There we go. I also use the same expression techniques for this kind of animation that you're seeing right now. So basically, it's just a bunch of circle layers, um, and each uh, of these circle layers are attached to multiple sliders control, attached to the size of the circles, and I just keyframe the sliders to make it more smooth. Thank you.